Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Junkie. My name is Jarrett. I'm not appearing on camera in this one as I am becoming self-conscious about my double chin. But also I thought I would just kind of jump right into things fairly quickly. So the new Carrion Empire set is out and I thought, hey, I'll, I'll jump in and do a speed painting video about clan rats and, and slaves, uh, Skaven slaves. And the set does not actually have any of those in it. However, I decided to press on uh, because there's a lot of armies and systems like Ninth Age or Kings of War who, you know, where these guys are used. And in the end, this is how they're going to look. It's very, very easy to achieve and I think looks suitably rat manish. First thing you're going to do is make sure they're primed to nice, smooth white all over. And then we're going to take Vallejo Game Color Brown Ink. Surprise, surprise. My speed painting almost always uses Vallejo Game Color inks. And we're going to apply that brown ink all over the Skaven's flesh areas, including the fur. Here's how the first one looks when he's dry, or almost dry. I'm going to do the same thing on the other two, as we're going to do uh, a few different examples with different clothing, etc. But uh, yeah, I mean, just painting it off on, looking out for areas where it's pooling a little too heavily, and just wick that off with your brush, just like we've done in past uh, speed painting sessions. Here's the last guy. He's got very nice quads. And uh, we're going to paint those with the ink before moving on. And the toes as well. And heels. These guys often have red cloaks or red mm, skirts. Anyway, um, the red ink tends to look a little bit pink if you just do one layer over a white. So what I'm doing is mixing in a little bit of the skin, skin wash uh, ink, which is fairly opaque and quite orange. And I found that that allowed the red to cover the white a little bit better and be a little bit less pink. However, in the end, I am going to come back when that's dry and apply one more. And you can even run that over things like scars or wounds, anywhere that you want it to look like the skin is a little bit pinkish. Uh, here again, I'm applying it to one of the guys, um, their sort of hoods that they're wearing over top of their rest of their armor. I wanted the tails to look a little bit different, similar to the rest of the skin, but a little more orangey. Uh, and with that in mind, the skin wash ink was perfect for that. Now for any dark browns like the wood of the shield, for example, I added black to the original brown. We had some left over from doing the skin. I probably put too much black. This is like two or three drops and the black ink is very strong. Uh, it goes a long way. So this ends up fairly dark, um, almost not brown. It's brown black, which is fine. I mean, I could have just put one drop and that would have been good. Or even a couple drops of sepia would have made an interesting darker brown that was different from the skin tone. So yeah, here, as mentioned, I'm applying another layer of that red and skin wash um, mix we had after the original one had dried, and it makes it much richer uh, while still kind of having a nice highlighted and shaded appearance and st still being quite bright. For the fur, we'll take sepia ink, and we're just going to apply that over the furry areas of the arms and the backs of legs, cheeks, tops of heads and backs, etc. And we're just going to take that sepia and run it right over that with our brush. Don't have to be very neat because the ink is going to blend in with the brown ink as it dries. With most wraps and straps, I use Seraphim Sepia from GW right out of the pot over the white. It just makes a nice sort of tan color and the shading uh, separates the different strips. With these guys, it's basically uh, over their feet. I have no tried and true method of speed painting metallics, so I'm just taking a bolt gun metal, which is like a lead belcher or any other gun metal, and just painting all the weapons, the, you know, any trim, uh, manacles and things like that. And then afterwards, you can always highlight that if you want. You can apply like a wash of Nuln Oil for some shading. Just bear in mind that the techniques we're using right now are just a basis and you can always uh, make additions, etc. as you see fit. Now here I took the brown-black uh, mix and I'm just applying it anywhere that I've kind of missed a spot. For the eyes, I take Evil Sun Scarlet. I want it to be a fairly bright red and I just carefully just sort of hold your breath and just dot it in. You don't even need to do pupils or anything. Now Shabti Bone, we're going to take another small brush and just paint in the two front sort of fangs and any teeth along the sides. Very simple. And of course as we speed paint with any sorts of inks we apply a matte varnish over the whole thing and this is the final result you see here. It's taken a lot of the shine off the inks and helped to blend everything together. Sorry about the weird focus and this is probably some sort of weird harsh lighting but I really dig how these look 
really feral and beastly. Actually, now that I say that, these could be used for uh, beast band flesh as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry I haven't been posting as much recently, but uh, hope to get back on track and uh, I'll try and lose some weight and get back in front of the camera with, with some confidence. Consider subscribing if you're enjoying these uh, videos and share and like the video. And we'll see you next time.